All right, guys, so here's the setup. We got a 21 foot long Schedule 40 structural steel pipe here. Got my ground over there. And I'm going to use the plasma torch to cut it on this line, which is roughly in half. So it'll be a couple of ten and a half footers, roughly. Got the setup over here. It's the titanium, 29 amps. Got the air supply over here. Compressed air from a pull down. Let's give you the little tour here. This is where it's coming from. Compressor is at 92 psi. Got 200. PSI in the tank, got the dryer and the filter regulator. So it sets the pressure up there. So we're all set to go. Let's give it a cut. All right, there you have it. She's hot. Looks pretty good. Not bad. Went right through it. And now we got our two pieces. These are the back side of it. Ten and a half footers. So I'm going to go drop all these in the ground and we'll start hooking them up. Alright, I want to try one more thing before we put these in. And that is I'm going to cut a couple of pieces of rebar and then cut some holes down here and stick the rebar right through there and that should help hold that steel pole into the concrete tighter. All right guys, I got all the pipe cut to length. I went ahead and drilled it out, put some rebar in there for extra strength in the concrete. And so my next step now so I'm going to drop these pipe into the holes and just drop them all the way down to the dirt. And then I'll attach the top horizontal bars with these top caps. This is what I get from Iron Ridge. So I'll put these on there, get it all attached. We'll do the back first, the high bar on the north side. So I'll just raise that up to the right height and then level it out. And then we'll build scaffolding to hold it there. Once that's set, then we'll move on to the front. So let's get going. <laughs> Got this top cap. This goes right on here. Like that. Now we'll torque these down. I think it's 15 foot pounds later, but for now I'm just going to get them snugged up. Okay, so I got all four posts in the ground. Now I'm going to lift up that back horizontal bar with the forklift and connect it to these two posts, and then we can uh, build a scaffolding for it. out so that's close uh, I'm gonna have to let it go and start on this again tomorrow because I'm out of time for today but uh, yeah that's pretty close to where it's gonna go I'll build some scaffolding and get it right about into that position and and then we'll build off of that to get the front ones all right I'll see you tomorrow All right guys, so I got the back bar in place. It's level and it's centered on the holes. It's looking good. That's in good shape. So next, I got to start on the front bar 
put that across there. It's a little more difficult because I have to get it not just level, but it has to be perfectly parallel to the back bar. Otherwise the panel is going to look screwed up. So uh, it'll be a little more difficult, but let's get started. Alright guys, we're all set. It's straight, it's parallel, it is level, and it is ready for concrete. That's what we'll be doing on the next one. Thanks for watching. Now if you're still watching, I'll tell you a quick problem I'm having. So two competing things. I like to focus on one project at a time, but I also like to save money by combining things. So I'm working on the solar, I need concrete. Remember my barn isn't finished. I got the gas station floor, I got an apron, and I got a cleaning station for the garden, washing station, all concrete projects. And you know I wanna do this chicken coop. And that's gonna have a foundation. I haven't designed it yet. So this is kind of bugging me as I'm, I'm bouncing between these three things because of the concrete. If it wasn't for that, I'd just do one at a time. But Anyway, I'm going to have to pause on the solar, design enough of this chicken coop that I can do the foundation, get that part done, ready for concrete, and then we'll knock them all out in one day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.